Hello guys and welcome to yet another product video. In this one we're going to be talking about the mouse that I will be using. Recently I've gotten a lot of questions, Slap, what mouse do you use? And I've never really been able to show it to you guys because it's been a prototype. The prototype, however, has now been released into a mouse called Spectrum, which is a very cheap mouse that we sell, um, but it's not the one that I personally will be using. Instead it is the one that I've been talking about, which is the Cyborg Ultimate VR. And the reason for that is because it's very customizable and I kind of like having to customize it in the way that I like it because, you know, when it comes to gear in general and other gaming stuff, I am quite weird, like holding my keyboard very curved, which not a lot of people do. <laughs> so anyway, this is the one we'll be going through, so I'll get you through the technical specifications right up here. Alright guys, let's take you through exactly what is on this box and what it can tell you, and then we'll go into trying out the mouse and taking out the parts and customizing it into the way that I want to do. And then of course we'll also go through the program on the computer. So anyway, vibration, sound, FX, lighting is what we got on the front of the box. And on the back side we've got technical specifications for those of you who are really into that. So the optical engine that is used is the Avego 9800. We've got a total of seven buttons, making it possibility to use in both MMOs as well as FPSs. The weight of the mouse is between 100 and 150 grams. The DPI maximum that you can use in the mouse is 8200. It's so quite a high DPI and as you guys know, I don't really play with a high DPI because I like my really, really low sensitivity and low DPI in general. But it's cool that we can customize it, customize it all the way up there. Sorry for that word. Polling rate is 1000 Hz and the maximum acceleration is 30 grams. And then of course, finally, the wire length is 1.8 meters, so quite a long cable. And of course, the mouse is compatible with Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7. So let's just open up this box so you guys can take a look inside the box and we'll talk about it right there. Alright guys, as you can see, we've got all the parts out of the box now. So, since everything is so being able to customize it to your own needs, I feel like the first thing we should do is probably pick the mouse that I would use, because, you know, I'm a pro gamer and I have my own kind of, like, liking. So, let's start things off by making my mouse first, and then we can show the other parts as well. So, the first thing you need to do, of course, is pick what kind of mouse you like. Do you like it more rough than the mouse pad, or do you like it more smooth? Personally, I like it a little bit more smooth, which is this one. So as you can see right here, it's very smooth, right? Now, if we were to go to the next one, you were going to hear like a slight noise where it's a little bit more rough than the other one. So personally, I prefer the smoother one. So we're going to take the smooth one, we're going to put this one back right here in the box where we, of course, can swap anytime we need. Now, second of all, we need a back side. I prefer something in the middle, so we're going to use this one. So we'll put that on straight away. Alright, so I feel now a little bit, hmm, okay, it's not big enough, so we'll go into the other one. Third size right here, that will probably fit my knees a little bit more. Alright, that's a lot better. Okay, second of all, we need the side buttons. So let's get here, put this one in. Oh, sorry, oh, wrong way. Professional, there we go. So now we've got the left side, which is also, as you can see right here on the mouse, a little bit uh, bigger than the other two ones. So, third and final, we need the side of it. And I actually have not been able to experiment with these yet, so I don't know exactly which one I like first. But looking at them, I do believe this is the one we want to use. So let's try this one out right here. So there we go. As you can see, the design of the mouse that I have is slightly larger. You can make it a lot smaller. But I've pretty much my whole life played with the middle or the higher size mouses that are a little bit, like, a little bit more weight to them. So this is the one that I would personally use, I feel like, and you know, if I ever change my mind or if I don't think that it's good enough, I can always swap to the other parts again. Um, so I think the next step we want to do here is, of course, to zoom in on the mouse button so you can see the side buttons and the top buttons where you can swap profiles. And then finally, we'll, of course, go into the program where you can customize everything on my PC. So yeah, let's go to the next step. All right, guys, we are back, as you can see here on the stream and on the PC. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly uh, the program here for the mouse and what you're able to do. Like I've said before, I personally don't swap a lot of profiles. I do like the ability to do so, but personally, I don't do it a lot. I have the back key on the left mouse button, and I have the forward key on the one in front. And then, of course, I have the profile switcher. But usually, I have the same sensitivity in all my games. Either way, so as you can see here, we got the DPI switch cycles. That's what I talked about before and showed a close up on. We got the profile switch right in front of that. Then we have normal mouse right click, mouse middle click, and as you can see, we got forward here. But there's also another mouse middle click here. So I personally would obviously want to change that to going back. So when I'm on a website, I can go forward with that key, backward with that key. And of course, I also use this key for um, TeamSpeak or Discord or whatever I speak to, which is great. 
So yeah, now as you can see here, we got six available profiles. You can swap these things in any way you want to. And there's English language and there's of course Thai language as well. So we got mouse events, we got keyboard events, we got fire keys, media, DPI switch, report rate, profile switch, and macro keys. So you can basically customize this in any way you want to. So let's just uh, pretty much, I'm going to show you how to turn on backwards. We can use it for website because that's the only feature I use. And then if you eventually are going to use this mouse or if you already have it, you can play any way you want with it right here. All right, guys, so here I'm going to show you quickly on profile two. So if you want to change anything on this mouse, all you have to do is you go in here into mouse event, you click backwards and you just drag it over. And now it's a backwards key. And that's really how simple it is. We want to do a keyboard event like cut, disable, find, print, run, lock, PC, anything you want to put that on the mouse, you can do that as well. DPI switch, report rate, profile switch, of course, media, you want to play, pause, which is actually what I'm going to use. That's actually something I didn't think about. Now that I'm actually doing this video, we're just going to add this right here. So next track on the fire key for me is actually a really cool feature. Then I can just change it on my mouse instead of my keyboard. That was not intended. Pretty awesome though. So guys, I hope you overall enjoyed this quick walkthrough of this mouse. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. And of course, you can find all other information on neolutionesport.com. And I do hope the Thai subtitles are to your liking as well for everyone who's Thai and watching this. And ultimately, don't of course forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash bslap, and check out my other social medias in the description. And finally, you can check out our page at Facebook and then Neolution Esport. Thank you guys very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.